Today I would like to update another top 10 side idea tweaks which can be used on iOS 13 to 13.4. Now let's go to the first one. This is the tweak for your iPhone lock screen. You, you will be see on the left side. So you have date, you have day, and then you have um, the month and year. And you can customize the color for all of those elements. You just go back to settings. And then you can go to other tweaks. And as you can see here, we have a bunch of options. So on the top, we have day. And second one, we have day of the week. And the third one, we have month and year. So you can customize the color for each element. So you just select one of them. And then you have three ways to select the color. So you can just um, scroll like this. Or you can select this one. And we have the round um, color. So you can select. Um, so you just choose the one that best for you. But I'm going to go to the back. It's easier for me. So you just select the um, color that you like. And then after you select all of those color, you just click on done. And finally, you just click on sale to respring. And as you can see now, all of the color has been changed on the top here. Now let's move on to the next one. This is the tweak for wallpaper. And in order to get this tweak to work, you need to install wallpaper loader. And it is free. So just go back to settings after you install the tweak. And then you need to install that add-on wallpaper. It is called Pearball. And then you can go to wallpaper, choose a new wallpaper. And then you can select online, scroll all the way down. You would be able to see another photo. And it is a live photo. And this is um, an animation that you can see when you pair your Apple Watch um, with your iPhone. So you're going to see it on your Apple Watch. And it is kind of cool to have it as a live wallpaper on your iPhone. So you can choose either dark mode or light mode. So if you disable dark mode, you would be able to see um, the photo in light. So now as you can see, after I disable dark mode, so we have the wallpaper in light mode. And then if you prefer dark mode, you just um, enable dark mode again. And then you can set the wallpaper either lock screen or home screen. and Or you can select both. And then you can see the wallpaper has been set to your home screen and on lock screen as well. And this is the tweak that I have shown you before as well. But this one, it is an add-on for it. And the tweak, it is called switcher. But it is an add-on. So in order to get this add-on to work, you just go back to settings and make sure you install this add-on. It is called, it is called Unicode Faces for Switcher. And after that, you just um, enable the button. And to remind you, the tweak only so when it has the keyboard active. And now you can click on Manage. And then you can see a bunch of symbol. And then in order to use those symbol, you just um, go to the place that keyboard is active. So for example, on Spotlight or on Message. And now let's go to Message as an example. And I just go to Keyboard and now Keyboard is active. And then I just um, spy the switcher. And as you can see, we have the symbol pop up here. And you can scroll down or scroll up to choose the symbol that you like. Just select on it. And then you need to hold on this one and paste the symbol. And here we go, we have got that symbol on the message. And then you can send to someone that you like to send. Setting color, it is an awesome tweak that allows you to customize the color on setting app. So just simply install the tweak and you just enable custom color. And if you go to customize colors, you can see a bunch of options that allow you to colorize on tab bar, on search background color. Even um, search the color, background color, we can colorize on separate hug as well. I'm going to leave it as default and I can go back, just enable this button and I can apply change. After the phone has been respring, I just go back to settings and like you see here, we have a cool color on setting app. This is the tweak that allows you to hide the flashlight and camera button from your iPhone 8 lock screen. So if you go to your iPhone 8 lock screen at the bottom, you don't see flashlight and camera button anymore. But it still preserves the function. So you just force touch on it. You also get a flashlight. 
so it's just um, invisible and if you want to go to camera just force touch on the right and it will bring you to camera let's go to the next one this is the widget and in order to get this widget to work you need to have CineTML installed on your device and after you install CineTML you just go back to settings and then go to CineTML select lock screen and on the top we have lock screen button so just enable this one and then click on foreground widgets and click on add widgets and then you need to find search by edge at the bottom click on it you can also configure some um, setting as well click on setting icon and you can change the color or you can also change the text size and even scale but I'm gonna leave it as default and then click on sale and click on check button and I'll go back to your iPhone lock screen you should be able to see the bar so just tap on it and then you should be able to search anything after that click on return key and when you swipe up you should be able to see Safari because we have just searched it before move on to another one it is also a widget as well but this widget it allows you to see the information from your social media such as Twitter or even Instagram so just go back to setting and go to ZenityML so the same thing as before and then you can go to lock screen go to background widgets click on add widgets and on the top you will find social just click on it and then at the bottom you should be able to see social and you can see your Twitter account and even Instagram so in order to set your own Twitter account just click on setting button and then make sure on Instagram nickname you just tie your own nickname on Instagram so you can copy or paste from Instagram or you can tie your custom one and on Twitter nickname it also the same thing as well so for me Sagra HP it is my nickname so in order to find your nickname you can go back to Twitter then click on your profile and click on it and at the bottom you will find your nickname so, so you just tie your nickname in the setting in CineTML as I mentioned before so as you can see here and you can also customize the color for panel background as well and then you can click on sale and then click on checks and I'll go back to your iPhone lock screen so we have Twitter account here so you can see your follower and even on Instagram let's go to another one for those of you that would like to customize the badge on your icon so you just install this one and then you can go to snowboard and you can go to style and select on it and you will see a bunch of um, icon badge so you can just select the one that you prefer so let's go to star red black just enable this button click on apply change click on check and in order to get this badge to work make sure you install extension as well so you need to install icon effects and icon mask extension and make sure both of them are enabled and then you can go back to home screen now take a look on the icon badge you can see it is actually changed and there is a bunch of style you can choose from it if you want to get the ipad switcher style you can install ipad um, switcher and this tweaks allow you to get the ipad switcher style on your iphone now let's go to multitasking and we can see we have got the ipad style switcher on your iphone usually with stock ios app so when you charge your phone it has nothing so up on your iphone lock screen so if you want to get a cool effect and cool style on charging so you just install charge mode and and then when you're plug and charging your phone you should be able to see a cool effect and even um, cool style on your lock screen so now i'm gonna charge it again and here we go you see a lot of dot here which represent the battery on your phone and i have only one because my battery is pretty low and on top of that we have clock so when you want to go to your lock screen or you want to see notification just click on it one more time and you should be able to see your lock screen finally thanks for watching i hope you like all of these tweaks and then i will see you in the next one